How are the sheep? Are they okay? Brilliant. The oh, excellent. Uh, yeah. yeah. Can you remember the names of a sheep? Uh, Billy Goat Worm. Woody, can you remember? <laughs> yeah, Woody remembers. <laughs> Hey guys, today we're off over to Hollywood Studios. It's been a bit of a wet start to say the least. As you can maybe see behind me, we're getting quite a few thunderstorms, quite a lot of rain, but we're not gonna let that stop us. What we've decided we're gonna do is, on the way into Magic, Ki Magic Kingdom, on the way into Hollywood Studios, Thunder still going a little bit. On the way into Hollywood Studios, we're going to stop off at a Walmart or somewhere and pick up some cheap ponchos. Uh, that way, if it does rain, which looking at the weather, it does look like it's going to go that way, we're not really going to let it stop us. Um, we can carry on, we can get absolutely soaked, and it's not really going to matter. James is just chilling here, watching a bit of Friends. But yeah, as I was saying about the weather, yeah, here's the current weather situation. So it's looking like there's going to be rain for pretty much most of the day, rain and thunder. But, like I said, we're going to get ponchos. So if the worst does happen, we're going to be ready for it. Had the weirdest thing happen in the night while I was in the hotel. I was in bed. All of a sudden, it got really hot. I couldn't feel the air con. Couldn't feel the fan spinning. I thinking, what's, what's going on? Looked at my uh, alarm clock. It had gone off. And it looks as if we'd had a power cut in the hotel. Which was no big deal really, I mean, you know, these things happen out here in America. Um, and then, what I presume was two hours later, the power must have kicked back in. And I heard this alarm going off, and I was thinking, what's that coming from? So I came out into here, and it was nothing going off in here. I came down here, James's door was closed, and I couldn't hear the noise coming from there. It wasn't coming from there. It sounded like it was coming from in here. So considering it's pitch black, it's probably three o'clock in the morning. So I think, okay, what's in here? So I open this door to be greeted by a joint Ursula inflatable on the bed. So it's fair to say I needed to change my pants after I seen that. But um, yeah, for some reason this alarm was going off. I don't know who had set it, but, so that was what it was that was going off. But uh, yeah, this really freaked me out just to see this silhouette. I completely forgot we'd put it there. So I just come in and saw that silhouette staring at me. Yeah, it wasn't the best way to start the morning. Yeah, I figured we'd stop off at one of these gift shop touristy shops on the 192 to get ponchos because they're like 10, 15 dollars, aren't they? In in Disney. And if there are a couple of dollars here, it's a no-brainer considering we're never really going to use them again. Yeah, a good Yeah. Yeah, they've just got plain white ones. I'll just take a plain one. Are they adults? What are they? Uh, adults are large. Enjoy. Thank you, guys. Still reduced, they were. Three ninety nine each. Three ninety nine each. Come to these uh, gift shops on the one night. Yeah, really friendly. <laughs> oh, look at them clouds. But yeah, we've become prepared. I kind of hope it does rain. Damn right, get our nine dollars worth. Yeah, Chip and Dale are meeting there now. Didn't you say that Donald and Daisy have... The, what? Oh, never mind. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Chip and Dale are fun though. They're not Donald and Daisy, but they're fun. So I'm pretty sure the first thing we're going to do is straight over to Toy Story Land, Slinky Dog, Alien Swirling Saucers, Toy Story Mania. Uh, and, oh, um, if uh, Bo Peep's out, that'd be a cool meet. Yeah, just going to see if there's any fantastic food. Oh, for Toy Story Land. Or anything for you there. Not, no, it's all for Toy tonight. Story Mania, what's that? Tonight though. Ah. Uh, we'll just go and we'll just, uh, yeah. we'll just brave the queues. Let's go.
Bo Peep is with Woody. Yeah, that'd be cool to meet them. I wonder where Jessie's gone. Jessie got sidelined. I think she's somewhere here to me. They should put Jessie with Buzz. Cause, and then they could like dance. <laughs> Buzz likes to do his Spanish dance, doesn't he? Bad. We are kind of hoping that because Galaxy's Edge uh, is open that a lot of the people are going to be over there in Galaxy's Edge and not so much here in Toy Story Land for the rest of Hollywood Studios for that matter. We've already done our Galaxy's Edge tour so if you do want to see that vlog go back to last week's vlog and check that out. We had an absolutely epic time, got up super early but managed to smash it all out. We downloaded this Disney Play app, which is like an app where you can play in the queues for the rides. It's relative to whatever ride you're in, isn't it? We're in Slinky Dog at the moment. And we got this Toy Story game. minutes standby. Thank you Galaxy's Edge. Redecorate our living room. <laughs> Something along these lines. Oh, yeah.
Give them that. 175,000. I like the tumbling monkeys. Hey Bo, you okay? How are the sheep? They okay? Excellent. Brilliant. Oh, excellent. Uh, yeah. yeah. Can you remember the names of a sheep? Uh, Billy Goat Boy. Woody, can you remember? <laughs> yeah, Woody remembers. <laughs> High five. He's never going to forget that. <laughs> Bye Woody. <laughs> Thank you. That's Toy Story Land done. We just met uh, Bo Peep and Woody back there, which was really cool because at the start of our trip we went to the cinema in Disney Springs to watch Toy Story 4, didn't we? It does, it seems like a very, very long time ago, but we thought it was awesome, absolutely loved it. And it was really cool to watch it in Walt Disney World. So yeah, it was great to meet Bo back there. So this is the old Pixar place, was it? Yeah, I don't know what it's called. It's now what well, it used to be, what well, Toy Story Mania used to be the entrance there, wasn't it? You met that buzz over there. Now it's all Incredibles themed. Cool wall there. And there's like a show down at the bottom. Yeah, it looks like they have a show down there. Incredible show. I can see Frozone and Mr. Incredible. They've got a cool character meeting here though. Edna. Edna mode. We've just come onto the, I think it's called what, the Hollywood Boulevard. Uh, we want to find a snack. We've got a bit of a sweet tooth, haven't we? So I think I'm sure in one of these, uh, one of these stores, there's some some nice Disney snacks. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh 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 oh, Disney art up. Rachel. In a frame. Yes. Did I do good? We've been looking for like postcard size pictures because we've got loads of frames, postcard size at home that we need to put on the wall. We don't necessarily want to put all pictures, you know. We were looking for, see I like this one as well. Got postcards to put in there. Yeah, last year me and Rachel came to Walt Disney World. We went to Mickey's Not So Scary on Halloween, actually on the 31st of October. And we dressed up as young Carl and Ellie, so that little Carl and Ellie photo was really nice, wasn't it? We were looking for something like that, because they're special characters for us. Apparently they don't do any kind of like Mickey treats, sweet treat, cookie treats here. Um, I remember when we came two years ago, one of these shops here we got a big Mickey cookie from because we went to watch the Beauty and the Beast show, didn't we? And we took it to watch. We couldn't find it. We spent about 20 minutes now looking around for some kind of cookie, haven't we? I've got a real sweet tooth now. I spoke to a cast member and they were like, the only place you're going to get anything like that is Starbucks or all the shop, but in the packs, you know, like the um, Rose Crisp Treats, which I'm not really a fan of. We are heading down to Rock and Roller Coaster now. The, st the storm hasn't really hit, has it? It's never really landed. It's been threatening throughout the day, like we got those ponchos early on. Um, just before we met Bo Peep, it did, didn't it? It rained for about three minutes, like a real heavy downpour, but we were already under an umbrella, so it didn't really matter. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't have a chance to put them on. Oh, wouldn't it be cool if you did actually come out and go across here like this was the track? Like Hulk or something? Stitch. During the last couple of days we have closely been monitoring this Hurricane Dorian that's kind of smashing its way over the Bahamas and making its threats to Florida because if it does hit Florida 
we're pretty much oh, so and so creek without a paddle um, because we were due to fly out on Tuesday. It was originally meant to hit Sunday, and we thought, oh, okay, we'll pass by Tuesday. But then it got put back to hitting Monday. Yeah, it slowed down, hasn't it? And now it's looking like it's getting put back to Tuesday. It's the same as likely to hit Tuesday morning. Uh, what day is today? Friday. Yeah, so we've still got a couple of days yet. We just don't really know what's going on. We're having to play it by ear. We've never really had this before, you know. Uh, it's, it's, it's unknown territory. Um, I presume we'll get put up somewhere if okay. the flight's cancelled. It's pretty much a case of watch this space, but it's, you know, as well as enjoying the park and being in Disney and Universal, it's something that has been kind of dawning on us as we get closer and closer yeah. that our flight could get cancelled and we could be stranded here. Yay! Could be worth it. <laughs> and for the last ride of the day, we're checking in to the Hollywood Tower of Terror. Fun little cool fact, it's currently showing a 13 minute wait time. More than likely it's a walk on, but they'll never show less than 13 because 13 is an unlucky number. So it could be anything up to 13, but yeah, if you ever see 13, it's just for the effect of the ride. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. <laughs> Well, it didn't rain like we thought it would, but um, as we were saying earlier with the whole hurricane thing, if come Sunday, Monday, it does hit and it's not like life-threatening, if the park is still open, we're going to come into the park so we're wearing those ponchos. I don't mind getting absolutely soaked, so I don't want to get, I don't know, blown away like Dorothy from Wizard of Oz or anything. We found this last week on 105.1. Every Friday night, they do Friday night 90s, and they chuck out some chains. And that just about wraps up our day at Hollywood Studios. Another tiring day. They do start getting to you towards the end of the holiday, don't they? Yeah. You come into these two week holiday vacations over here to Orlando thinking, yeah, give it to me, bring it on. Towards the end, you're just like, <sighs> my legs. <laughs> my legs, my back, everything. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching this. Tomorrow we are going over to um, Disney Springs to do our shopping. Yeah, yeah we have definitely um, saw one or two things, well, more than one or two things that we yeah. want to get. So uh, yeah, check that out if you're into your Disney shopping. And um, we'll see you then. See you later, guys.